Hey, hey, everybody! Hello and happy Monday! I am happy about this Monday because, one, my daughter just finished her GRE and did really well. And I am now home from being in another state today and hours of driving since 8.30 this morning. So, yeah, totally happy to be home and happy to be with you guys. Sorry about the slight delay. It uh, We did run into taking longer to get home than what we had hoped, but that's okay. Because we're home, we're safe, all is well, all is well. Thanks so much everybody for joining us. Today happens to be the celebration of Elder Scrolls' birthday, 7th birthday yesterday. So we're going to celebrate by bashing things. And what we're going to bash are things that have to do with the, the um, what's that word? Prologue. You know? We're going to Blackwood Prologue. Bash things in the Blackwood Prologue. I mean, I don't know whether there's things to bash, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be things to bash. Sounds, sounds bashy, right? Black, black, Blackwood, bashy. It all totally sounds. And and I haven't remembered to log into game. So give me a second here while I huh, remember that. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty picture. Uh, wait, except that looks like a meteor falling onto a city. That's not so pretty. That's probably not a good thing. Bye-bye, Mushroom City. Maybe you guys can get to see it if you... If it actually loads in. Which loads first? The streaming software or <laughs> Elder Scrolls? That was actually a close tie there, wasn't it? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not feeling uh, good things for that poor little mushroom town there. Now, I don't know anything about, I mean, I assume it's going to tell us the prologue kind of thing. Um, you grab it from the store. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking. Whew. Oh man, guys, you do not know how exhausted I am. I'm like the last half hour of driving home. I'm just like, try to stay awake, try to stay awake. It's this little singing chant mantra that I do as I'm trying to stay awake. <laughs> Can't die now, I'm almost home. Claim lethal poisons. I'm pretty excited because look, there's a cute little wolf pup. Free reward. Coming in. Oh wait, I gotta check. What are my, what are my tickets at? Tickets are at twelve. I think I have my tickets for today, but we need to buy something. So what the heck should I buy, people? There's nothing really like when there when we have the Indrix. You always had Indrix parts to buy or berries to make other Indrix to buy. They just don't even have that now. 
And I mean, I got the staff, but I don't use any other weapon, so... And these collections don't go to your alts, do they? Or do they? I mean, if there's any weapon my alts would use. Or maybe I should just buy more cakes. Line my house with cake replicas. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. We'll have to think about something else. Alrighty, so to the store. Event quest. Ache for cake. I should eat a piece of cake while you guys are here. Anyway, wait, shouldn't it be in the featured? Is it not in the featured? Under events. No, it's under events and prologue. Quest starters. Prologue. Okay, I'm like. Oh. Portal quest, a mortal's touch. Wait. Dragon Guards Legacy, Raven Watching, Cre no. A mortal's touch, right? That looks like the right person. I have other prologues still to do? Huh. Yeah, you didn't do the one for um, the Markarth. Markarth. DLC. Oh. Probably because I don't think I got that. Probably not. Alright. But the prologue's free if you want to do the prologue. Alright. Let us... Let us prologue... All right, go to the location shown on your map. So I need to figure out. Where is it? I have no clue where it's trying to. <laughs> Does it not give you a hint? Or does it not show? On your map? If you have the quest up in your quest journal. Yeah. And then click on M. It should show you on the map. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So hit J and open up your journal. M show on map. I know, I know. It's already it's not showing on the map. I mean, can you give me a hint if it's is it even supposed to be Ardon or Uh there's a way shrine up there that might have a Glow around it? Could that be it? Now they all have glows around them. Am I crazy, everyone? Am I just really blind, or is it not showing on my map? What area is it supposed to be showing on? I mean, is your showing? Well, it's telling me I need to take the boat to somewhere. So I'm going to go down to the docks and take the boat. Wait, it's telling you to take... Are you here with me? No, I didn't transfer. So I'm still. I'm in Ardon. I'm just in a different one. All right, you're being told to go to the docks. Yeah, if you bring up your map and 
Look at the docks. You're going to the just the big boat. Yeah. All right. Not the big one, but... Not the big one? No, it is the big one. <laughs> Not the big I, one. I, yes, I the big one. The <laughs> I have to look at the map every time to make... Because my memory stinks. Yoda, please. Yeah, we need to please go to the help boat. Us. Take the boat to... Oh, to fiddlesticks. Ball. I'm going the wrong way. Alright, so it wants us to go to Daggerfall. What I was hoping was if uh, I could get to the right continent, even, that maybe I could find the dot that way. Because all I have is go to the location on your map. And then my yeah, map has nothing. Well, how do you know to get on a boat? Whenever I was in my journal, I hit M, and it popped it up, and it said, go to the boat. In a really nasty accent. <laughs> Alright, so... Go to your left. Wait, I know. Open the journal. You're on there. Go to the location on your map. Well, now it's showing me something, but it's, like, inside a building somewhere. Yep, so hit R there we for go. current location. And Harbor Way Shrine, Bendari. Where the heck is that? You can hit the... Oh, you could have opened this zone guide. Oh. Sorry, I'm just gonna come up and. Yeah, come to your left and take the. Okay, where yeah. are we going to? Oh, we just travel and it just goes. Okay. Yep. Hey, it's Anonymous! I need to randomly eat a piece of cake today. Hold on, I'm gonna eat a piece of cake for everybody. Still can't figure out why they put cake under a tool. So much to Wait, do. where did so it go? It didn't, oh, I brought it down here. See, doesn't that cake look pretty good? Nom, nom, nom. And there's someone who makes a cake to match the Jubilee cake every single year. I can't wait to see their... I'm going to have to watch Twitter and... Okay. So... Alright, let's go to journal. Go to map. Like, I don't even know. So now we're gonna leave the city of Daggerfall. Now we're now I'm just gonna start following you, right? I hope to be done here soon. I you hope can. so. You may get fallen off a bridge or two, but sure, you can follow. Where'd you go? <clears throat> I left the docks and started hitting up. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna follow you. Have already lost him. <laughs> All right. What? Hang on, I'm loading the zone again. Hey, you've got the tannic bug. Yes, my vision dream speaks true. You are the one my mistress seeks. 
I am the one is Mistress Seek, so maybe you shouldn't have a mistress, buddy. Yes, it does happen to other people. It's happened to me quite a bit lately. I don't know. So now where do we go? But where we're going isn't on this land mass. I think we're going to have to go to one of the way shrines of that other landmass. Well, but they're usually all connected by roads. So you shouldn't have to do a way shrine. Did you see what where it showed me? It didn't there were like no other way shrines. No roads, no nothing, no towns. All right, let me go back and find the now name of it again. I need to go back into the city. All right, so, journal. Show on map. Okay. Bendari trading post looks closest or the... Yeah, click on open zone guide. I don't see any open zone guide. On there the it is. All right. Side should tell you what zone it is. Malabar Ma Tor? M Malabar Tor. Alright, so Malabar Tor. And then, do you want to go to Mandari Trading Post or Valen Harbor Way Shrine? I've been through more than that in Malabar Tor. I just need to get to a Way Shrine. We were standing right next to one. Where are you? Was there one outside? I can't yeah. remember where the way <laughs> Sorry, Tanik. I didn't... didn't. I hope I didn't help contribute to you thinking you're losing your mind. That's happened to me more than once. So I'm just going to stand here until every gets to that continent area. And I'm just going to say, hey, join friend. Because I leave the city and it tells me I need to go back. Just come to a way shrine. I don't want to. All right, I'm going to go to a way walk. shrine and start running. I'll go to that tippy top way shrine and start running then. Let's see here. Where are we going in Melbourne, Melbourne tour? Because I have all the way shrines in Melbourne tour except for one. You'll have to show it to me on your map because for some reason it's not showing up. This. Yeah, there's a way shrine Abamath, not too far from there. I wouldn't know. I haven't really been here before. Hello, world. I'm loading in now. I should probably take my hat off. I am in. All right. You can come to me. Traveling, traveling. Ah, now it shows up. So, welcome to Mavel Tour. Ah, yes. What's this place about? <laughs> it's a place with a pretty bridge over water. I'm happy. The undead, if we save us. And little rapids. And undead, apparently. 
An elephant. And I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to be going this way-ish. There's a cart there. Yeah. Oh, that's the Grotwood. Yep. There's a letter up here where I'm at. Dread Lady's Letter. Which just disappeared. Did it say something? Yes, it says, I am Lyrinth, a Dramora outcast who sometimes takes an interest in insignificant things. Perhaps we have met, perhaps not. I find it hard to tell the difference between individuals where you mortals are concerned. Regardless, there exists a sect dedicated to advancing the agenda of the Prince of Destruction and Ambition, Mayrunes Dagon. I have decided to look into their activities and how they pertain to the secrets of your longhouse emperors, but certain obstacles have been thrown in my path that require a mortal's touch. The magic I have infused within these words will, as you reach the end of this message, mark a location upon your map. Meet me there now, little mortal. Lyrinth commands it. Not that I care, but the fate of your world may depend on what you what we do next. <laughs> little mortal. Little town filled with little mortals. <laughs> I'm just having See fun the letter's still there for me. Nope. You picked it up and it went away. Why is it still there for me? That makes no sense. But thank you for reading it for me. My have been updated, so... Crocodilies! Ooh, we're going by the waterfall. Shale ruins? Is that where we're supposed to be going? I'm guessing it's your pets picked on the alligators. Never been here before. Sorry, I had to stop for a bite to eat. <laughs> no worries. Um, are these... Man, should I go... Do I need to go first or do you need to go first? Uh, I'll just go first. Well, they're not talking, so now you go. I'm calling this crown my party hat.
Yeah, I didn't think you'd walk past anybody. I'll just see if there's anything fun to read or pick up. That guy's trying to run away from you. Eben Girdle. Should start collecting ectoplasm, why not? Wait, where are you going? I was checking the corpse to make sure I didn't miss anything. Hello, Shuna Kitty. Wait, can I get a picture of them before I get too close? Put that sword, put that, put that staff away. Stop it, pet, you're getting in the way. Oh. Yay, I got a picture. Can I murder them again? Yes, murderize. Murderize! Juna and Hanan are playing th through the door. Turned around. I say, wait, is there someone still alive over there? No, we've passed. No. Oh. Okay, that looks cool. What interest does a Dagon cult have in this place? Lee? Don't attack Do anybody. Worse, I'll tell you nothing. Hey, you're watching my, my screen. <laughs> I'll squeeze the knowledge out of Damn. I forgot how fragile mortals can be. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, hold on, lady. I'll talk to you after I search these bookshelves. Because books are more important than you right now. Oh. I got dual wield and woodworking up. And destruction staff. Okay. Nice. Oh, 
Alright, alright. Once everybody's done, we'll talk to you, lady. Lady with the purple background. No, this isn't me making all sorts of screenshots. Not at all. I sense. Yes. Go ahead. You are the mortal I sent for, and not a moment too soon. Good. I attempted to get this Mayrune's Dagon cultist to enlighten me. He refused. I may have insisted a bit too vigorously, but it was his own fault. Technically, I am a Dromora, but yes, my origins are Daedric. I was investigating the activities of these followers of Mayrun's Dagon when I ran into an obstacle. It pains me to admit it, but this requires a mortal's touch. I need assistance. An Imperial cache lies beyond that concealed doorway. Unfortunately, the entrance has been warded to prevent anyone, including those of my kind, from passing through. I require a capable mortal to shatter the ward so we can see what's hidden inside. See? Bash things! She wants me to bash things! Take this amulet. I went to great trouble to acquire it. With it, you should be able to shatter the ward and open the hidden storehouse. We must find the secrets locked inside before the Daganists do. The fate of your world hangs in the balance. One of these times, I'd like for one of them to be, like, saying that. And you're helping them, but it turns out they're the ones for the bad fate. So you've just helped them all the way through to destroy your world. The amulet should allow you to remove the ward so we may enter the concealed annex. I had it specifically constructed just for this purpose, but it will only function for a mortal. Hurry now. I haven't gone all day. No, just keep talking to me. I acquired a map from the Mayrun's Dagon cultists that indicates an Imperial cache is hidden inside. I want to reach that cache before they do and find out what Emperor Leovic thought was important enough to hide from mortals and Daedra alike. Don't the actions of the Daedric Princes, when turned this direction, always concern the fate of this particular ball of mud? The Longhouse Emperors have protected a secret for three generations. A secret that involves Mayrun's Dagon. A secret guarded from mortals and Daedra alike that involves the Prince of Destruction? I do not think the threat could be any more clear if they painted us a picture. What form that threat will take, however, that is what I hope to ascertain. How remarkably narrow-minded <laughs> mortals can be. What is your definition of evil? Do I care for the lives of mortals? No. Do you care for the lives of ants that crawl beneath your feet? Yes, yes I do. Our interests are aligned at this time. That should suffice. I saw the Daganists use magic to temporarily disable the ward. Their power is limited, however, and the ward reasserted itself before I could follow them. Only power akin to the amulet can totally destroy the ward. Do you assume I am without resources? That I do not have connections? Well, she in already said only a mortal can use it, so that sounds like a dumb question. Me. I have given you the amulet. And it will do its job. Nothing else matters, little mortal. Little mortal. The protective ward is deadly to Daedra. As a mortal, you are perfectly immune to any such dangers. The ward simply bars your way. Besides, the amulet can only be used by a mortal. That's part of the reason it can destroy the ward. As a mortal, you are immune to the harmful effects of the protective ward. As long as it is in place, Maybe however, kitty. it will prevent either of us from passing through the warded doorway. That is its primary function, after all. Mayrun's Dagon is one of the Daedric princes, the Lords of Oblivion. Specifically, he is the Prince of Destruction, Revolution, and Ambition. 
Natural disasters are his forte, though some consider him nothing more than a god of bloodshed and betrayal. Concern? I am not concerned. I am curious. <laughs> I am curious. Intrigue me. If anyone should be concerned, little mortal, it is you. When a cult devoted to the god of destruction performs mysterious deeds upon your doorstep, there is a good chance your home will soon be engulfed in fire, devoured by earthquakes, or submerged in a raging flood. And by your home, I mean Nern. Yay, I have a kitty in my lap. Alright. My play is going to be limited now. Oh, now she's on my desk. I guess I can move. Ah, oh, good kitty. Yeah, I can I can walk with one hand. Yeah. Hey, Sky Shard. Alright. One protective ward. Are you ready? Oh, that's freaking bright. Let us Ow. see what waits inside. Secret bookshelf. Yay. I sense more wards ahead. Deal with them. I shall wait here. Wait, do you get to join us? Or are you in your own, Every? I looked at the bookshelf next to the secret bookshelf. Oh. We must explore. Wait, that's some other person. Ugh, what are my level 48 rewards? Choose one. Increase magical harm? Sure. What? How did my inventory get full? Merchants up. There's a book, but I can't read it. How may I? I'll just get rid of those bananas. Sorry, we have no bananas. We have no bananas today. Oh wait, that's a furnishing? Crud, I might have sold some other of those. I thought they were actually... Oops. <laughs> hmm. Oopsie! Oh wait, I gotta sell that too. Alright. I thought I sold those as I thought they were treasure. Ooh, there's a pretty box over here. Come, come loot the pretty box. Where are you? the ward. 
Sorry, there's someone attacking my fishies. I call her a fishy. Destroy a protective ward. Ow, oh, that hurts the eyeballs. Wait, where are you? Okay, you're at that one. Close my eyes! Count to three! Dang, it's so bright that... Hang on, do you want me to destroy the next one? Because if I destroy it, it doesn't show up right on your screen. Well, I have to destroy it anyway. It I looks... don't have to destroy it after you destroy it. Oh, really? Okay. You come destroy the next one. From the sides! It's like I even, you know, closed my eyes and I could still see when it was from the massive flash. That's a little tiny bit of brightness, but definitely not the searing eye pain. <laughs> Alright. Destroy words. Destroy the words and go talk to the lady. Man, they respawn fast in here. Yep. Wait, aren't we supposed to be going out? That person wanted to die, so I wanted to help them. Okay. You destroyed the wards. I felt each one shatter in turn. Well done, little mortal. Now tell me, what did you find? A scroll, schematic, and a map. Let me see them. Hmm. A collection of apparently mundane items, at least on the surface. But look at this scroll. It not only bears the seal of the last Longhouse Emperor, it has been ensorcelled so that it cannot be unfurled. <laughs> ensorcelled, I like that word. Interesting. Architectural plans from the looks of it. And not the mundane engineering so common to your world. No. These plans include powerful Daedric elements. Some sort of vault, obviously. Strengthened and enhanced by a complex arcane matrix. Intriguing. It marks a location in Grotwood. Nay Salas. Another ruin. And perhaps another annex. I'll open a portal to take you there. Keep the amulet. It retains power enough to deal with a few more wards. While you search, I shall try to read the scroll. Travel to Nesalas. This portal will take you to Ne Salas. Raid the caches Ne Salas. Whatever will be, will be. I'm portaling, portaling. Hey, Tan. Uh, well, I did have like 20 things available, and then I started picking up event stuff again, and... Oh, can you portal backwards? Oh, hey, you can. wonder how long that portal will be open. 
Or if we have to use it to get back to her. I do not know the answer to either of those questions. <laughs> go now enter Nesales salad ne salad yame yame magical transport is the only way this many red guard could have appeared here so suddenly we need to cut them off before an entire army is on our doorstep I'm not gonna do the dove things yet Yes, alas, alas. I like pronouncing it that way better. In the knee. Hey, you don't look like a cultist. I use 30 spots in a single dungeon, Dan says. <laughs> no, I believe it. Oh, wait, am I supposed to be talking to you? to Hermaeus Mora's nether regions. If you aren't one of the damn cultists and you aren't one of the Covenant soldiers, then what in the name of Oblivion Stinky Armpit are you doing down here? What in the name of Oblivion Stinky Armpit? <laughs> wow, well, okay. <laughs> Imperial caches? Really? That's funny. That's exactly what brought me here. But then I found this band of wood elves under assault by Covenant soldiers and a group of insane Daedric cultists. Are you positive you aren't one of the cultists? All right. The enemy of my enemy and all that. Just like in the Investigator Vale stories. I suppose I can trust you. For now. The cultists answer to some kind of Doombringer Eshel. And he's got some kind of scholar lady at his side. Farther in, I'm guessing. The cultist leader paid off the soldiers and they just let them wander on through. If you can clear a path, I'll get these wood elves. I'm gonna have to get this pet out, out of my way so she stops flying in the middle. The I found a journal in Black Drake Villa, a hidden refuge of the Longhouse Emperors. It was in some kind of code, so it took me a while to figure out what it said. Well, actually, I had someone decipher it for me. Even deciphered, the journal didn't make much sense. Emperor Leovic wrote it. Lots of crazy talk about annexes around Tamriel, where he had caches related to something he called the Emperor's Secret. I decided to investigate, so here I am. Not much. I heard a few of the cultists mention his name. Said it with a mixture of awe and respect. I Aww. think they're afraid of him. I noticed that the woman scholar stayed close to the leader's side. She was explaining the history of this place. I'm just a young wood elf with a good bow and a thirst for adventure. I plan to make a name for myself, and this seems like the perfect opportunity. Provided I don't get sacrificed in some stupid Daedric ceremony along the way. Cracked acorns. You established adventurers don't understand. When you're starting out, it's hard to become recognized as a real hero. But that's what I want to be. Just like in the Investigator Vale and Green Hood stories. <laughs> I want to be a hero like in the storybooks. That always ends well. <laughs> Alright, I'm done.
chatting away Once with her, I sorry. Get these wood elves out of here, I'll catch up with you. Every result, I've been done talking to her for like a half an hour. so tired. <laughs> you just looking for things in corners or? Just checking to see if there's a um, sh guy shard or anything like that. Oh, this actually looks pretty familiar. Yes, I had to have been in here before. Even the guy back there, Pickpocket, says it's the only love he ever gets. Oh, whoops. Didn't expect you in there. There goes MJ making friends all over the place. Whoa, I got friends in delvy places where i bash in their heads and i smash their faces and i do this all day hey bazooks yeah i will be going to bed after the stream wait which way are we going yep we're going up It's just been a very long day. After she took her test, we went to the thrift store and we bought books. And another kitty basket! Yay! I just need to find some nice fuzzy blankets to put in the kitty baskets. I'm proud of her. She has been studying hard since January. Now she just has the LSAT on Sunday. And she'll be done testerestering. <gasps> Bookshelves. Oh. Be as dawn to your ally and set dusk upon your foe. The 405th strike, the serpent's right fang as it pierces the eye. When swarmed by flies, favor the flat over the edge. Anger is a crack in the hull that sinks the ship. Blood matters less, less than last breath. Journey many and many miles, but do not leave the hall of virtues of war. Discover your foe's habits and discard your own. Do not lose the melody in the rapture of one triumphant note. Your foe's habits and discard your own. That is definitely a way to make yourselves, make yourself less, uh, you know, predictable and thereby vulnerable. <laughs> I'm a good thief, not a good writer. Anyway, this is about picking locks. Always carry a bent lock pick. Copper bends easy. Bend it right there. Copper lock picks break easy too, so be careful. If you can't read, get someone to read this book to you. I will make more sense then. <laughs> Sorry, that was amusing. The cultists, they destroyed the ward and marched right in. I'm having trouble walking. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. Ooh, one handed shield increase. Do 
Don't worry, I'll march in there too. Oh, Braville part two. Not sure I've seen this before. Aww. Actually, this is a cool story. Hang on. The lucky old lady. Barmaid, kind and generous. That was a cute little story. Almalexia and the mud crab. A mud crab who suffered much. A limp and a hacking cough. Oh my gosh, that sounds just like me. I'm a mud crab! Oh. An easy snack. You cannot aid the unwilling. Oh. Wait, the bookshelf, both bookshelves have the same one? That's kind of, that's a letdown. Oh no, this is the locked room part two. I'll come back and read that on the stream. I keep thinking I'll come back and read them on the stream later. I don't necessarily come back and read them on the stream later. In fact, I never had yet. Hey, pets, get away from there. You're blocking my doorway. I wonder if this is going to be a multi-stream kind of thing. I wonder how long... Uh... Oh man, books, but I can't read anything. Hey, over here. You need to see this. What took you so long? Never mind, never mind. Look down there. That's the cult leader and the scholar lady I told you about. And that must be the Imperial Cash. What can I say? I'm as fast as a leaf on the wind and silent as a shadow. <laughs> I suggest we take different paths to that chamber, just in case. I'll meet you down there. Last one to put an arrow in the cultist is a sour gore apple. That's an odd question. I was hired to find another book at Black Drake Villa and came across the journal. I was curious and I had some time, so I had the journal deciphered. Turned out to be a lot of ramblings. Emperor Leovic was either crazy or... Desperate. The coded message had that sort of air about it. But yes, he alluded to some end-of-the-world level stuff along with the rest of his crazy. I came here to see if there was any truth to the danger. To go along with his obvious delusions. Obvious delusions, eh? Anything good? We must recover the dangerous weapon with that book. Bring me the contents of that cache as soon as you have them. I will not fail, Dimbrina. I'll have the wards down momentarily. Bazoosk, um, this is the brand new prelude to Blackwood quest. 
So you wouldn't remember this. Unless you played it in the future and then traveled into the past. Well, this whole thing went live today? Yesterday? Uh, last week. Last week? That feels very yesterday ish. Wait, did you find more? So basically, I just went the long way around where we should have gone, but at least we get to kill lots of things, right? Complex. Sure, you betcha. Oh, she's sensing us now. How hard it would be to sense us since we're causing people to scream. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wait, that one meant to jump in the air like that? Okay. If you say so, lady. Oh, sorry, rat. Didn't mean to kill the rat. Disastrix only had a couple gold. Cheapo. And all sorts of piles of books, and I can't read a single one of them. How sad. Eat arrows, creepy cult lady. My arrows always strike true. Can you open that imperial cache? Alright. Close my eyes. Hang on, let me try. She said it took hey, the key. That actually worked. Look out, danger! Lower your weapon, elf. What did you find? I'll confer with anything the other interesting in there after they search the cache. Oh, I already searched it. Uh oh, I searched it too soon. Oh, I guess I talked to her first. Well. What was inside the cash? <clears throat> Have we finally discovered the secret of the Longhouse Emperors? Let me take a look. Yeah, that's a code, all right. Imperial. Just like in the journal I found at Black Drake Villa. I know someone who can decipher this. He helped me with the journal. I'm sure I can get him to translate this scroll, too. Not far from here. Just outside Elden Root. Just look for the camp with all the books in it. I'll meet you there. Let's just say I've known him for a very long time and I trust him with my life. A very long time. Like I said, he translated the journal I found. The one written by Emperor Leovic that led me here. Tell me why we should trust that Daedra lady, though. All right, if you say so. 
I suppose if she's willing to help, we have to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to watch her like a hawk, though. You never count your seeds before they sprout, my great aunt Laurel always said. Never count your seeds before they sprout. Now that you've satisfied the wood elf's curiosity, it's time to satisfy mine. Show me what the cache contained, little mortal. We already knew this concerned Emperor Leovic, and I cannot read those coded words. As much as this mystery intrigues me, it has also begun to bore me. If we don't solve some piece of the puzzle soon, I may just look elsewhere for entertainment. <laughs> She's so snotty. The fate of your world, little mortal, not mine. But do not fear. The mortal realm has always amused me. I will aid you as I can, provided such efforts continue to benefit me as well. Alas, I cannot help decipher the Emperor's code. So, the Wood Elf is useful after all. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. That's surprising. I will portal to this Elden Root to expedite your journey. When the opportunity presents itself, ask the Wood Elf how she was able to break that ward. I sense something powerful. Not yet, but I have my finest banekin working on it, even as we speak. Go, little mortal. Solve the mysteries Go, before you mortal. while I ponder the various clues we've pulled together. I will find you when one of us has something new to report. Hmm. This portal shall take you to Elden Root. Do not dally. I sense there's more to this mystery than the politics of Emperor. Wood Elf is shady with her little perky ponytails. So anybody who's completed this, do you know how much farther we have in this quest line? So MJ has kind of a hard stop thanks to her munchkin. Needing to come in and go to bed, like, five feet from me. I think for a week I'm going to have to move my streams back to seven. Ah, you talked to somebody. Where is he? I walked over to the village, like, ten feet away. Shameful. This is oh, not the Dominion way. we were promised. Moon sugar is a spice used in many Kajiti dishes. Calling it cat drugs is at. demeaning to me and my people. Wait, this way? I may have spoken okay. to but moon sugar is dangerous. It's used to make skooma, as your people know very well. And therefore, it's a drug. If skooma is illegal, moon sugar is too. Friend, meet Baragon. Baragon, this is my friend. We've got a scroll to show you. Beverly says you have something for me to look at. Let me take a look. Ooh, Imperial, all right. Specifically, this is Emperor Leovic's personal code. Luckily, I know it well. Unfortunately, I don't have Leovic's signet ring. That, <laughs> I can't decipher the code. Well, good thing that I actually brought that with me. You have a signet ring? Why, yes, this does appear to be Emperor Leovic's. At least, it's one of them. He certainly loved his jewelry. So first that journal that Everly brought me, and now this. What have you and my sister gotten into this time? Ha ha ha, sister! My younger sister, yes. I used to regale her with stories of my adventures, back before I became a scribe in Emperor Morikar's court. I worked for both him and his son, Leovic. Everly says I sling words the way she looses arrows, fast and on target. Technically, I was an adventurer, then a scribe. Turned out I preferred ink and parchment to danger and daring do. Unfortunately, I think I put the wrong ideas into little Everly's head. Anyway, the scroll's over there. Deciphered and everything. Okay, I'm going to pick up the scroll. Read the scroll. The words of Emperor Leovic, written in Imperial Code in 2E577 and deciphered by Baragon in the current year. The traitor Vera marches ever closer, the rebel, the would-be usurper. I must complete this document and send it with all due haste to one of my hidden imperial caches. The secret started by my grandfather and passed on to me by my father, 
must not die with me. It is imperative that the four ambitions come to fruition. That everything is ready when the time is right. Promises were made. Bargains set in blood and stone. And the Prince of Destruction does not accept failure. Not in matters such as these. My steward, Pharaoh Lupus. He has raised me, served me, taught me, indulged me. Now he acts as my confessor as well, hearing every detail of the plan and the secret. He knows the locations where the four ambitions have been moved to. He knows where to find the book. And he knows everyone who has been involved in one aspect of the plan or another. He may not understand everything I told him, but he will remember. He literally knows where every part of the secret has been buried. If I cannot stop Verin the Betrayer, if I cannot restore order to my empire, then those who remain must carry on. Between your devoted waking flame and the knowledge I have passed on to Steward Lupus, you have everything you need to make our four ambitions a reality. Do not fail me. Do not fail Merun's Dagon. Um, I think we want to fail him. Uh, isn't that the point? <laughs> All right, Evely. Well, what did the scroll say? Do we finally know the Emperor's secret? Foral Lupus? He hired me to investigate Black Drake Villa. But why is the word ambitions capitalized? It must mean something special. Thanks for helping me. Here. Take part of what Lupus already paid me. There's more if you come with me to Riften. The deciphered document. It mentions the person who hired me, Boral Lupus. Could he really be Emperor Leovic's steward? I guess it's possible. Anyway, I'm supposed to bring this book I recovered to him. Well, to his contact in Riften, anyway. Boral Lupus sent me to retrieve the book from Black Drake Villa, one of the Longhouse Emperor's hidden retreats. I found it and a journal. The one that led me to Nasalis. It's a strange old tome. Nasalis. Yummy, yummy. It's written in a language I've never seen before. Looking at the pages makes my eyes hurt. And just carrying it around, it's kind of uncomfortable. Will you come with me to Riften? I want to deliver the book and be done with this business. I never actually met with Foral Lupus directly. Everything was done through an intermediary, a mage named Renna. We can find her at the Mage's Guild Hall in Riften. My brother has a cart we can use to make the journey, or I can just meet you there. Neither Foral's letters nor my discussion with Renna provided much information. They told me where to look and gave me a map. It had a description of the book written in the corner. I've been carrying it around for a while now. It's difficult. It's hard to describe. It's like carrying a weight, but not like a heavy pack or anything. More like a burden. A constant worry that never subsides. I've also had dreams lately. Bad ones. But I don't want to talk about them. Not yet. Those feelings weren't there at the beginning. Plus, I found that journal. I took it to my brother to decipher. By then, I realized the Longhouse Emperors were hiding something. I wanted to know more. So, I went to Nasalis, met you, and here we are. Yeah, I thought of that. He took one look at the thing and handed it right back to me. Said it wasn't any language he ever saw and wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> Some brother, right? Before we found the document my brother deciphered for us, I assumed he was a scholar or a book collector or something. I had no idea he was the steward of the last Longhouse Emperor. We never met. Just exchanged letters until he sent me to Renna. Renna's some kind of mage. She gave me the final instructions for my mission to the villa and handed over the gold. Well, the first payment. I'm promised more when I deliver the book. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get a fair share of the reward. Oh. All right, guys, I have very little time left. Should I take this one more step? 
I don't know how many steps there are. Hey, Bazooks, thank you for coming. Does anyone know how much longer this quest line is? Well, since I started a new quest, it's probably going to be a little while. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'm going to take the cart, I think. It says it's out of range. It's right in front of me. There we go. I want to keep going. I would normally just move over and do it on my own channel, but I'll have to try that later this week, I think. Hold! I was sent for you! Wait, oh, Dan thinks we're close to done? How <laughs> Like, within five minutes close to done? Or, like, 15 minutes close to done? Because you don't want to hear a cranky, tired six-year-old behind me. All right, we'll try turning it in. Uh, do you see where to turn it in at? Oh. I need good. to meet Evely at the Mage's Guild. 15 or so. Arr. Hang on, let me try to... There's no point in doing another stream of it if there's less than 15 minutes. So, I'm just gonna try to go fast. Hey, friend! Over here! Clearly magic up oh, I don't want to talk to you again. You made it! I'm glad you're here. I wasn't looking forward to facing Rena alone. Not after what we found out. Yeah, I spotted her in the main hall. Look. I've been thinking. Since Faral Lucas and Renna weren't totally honest with me, I might as well use an intermediary of my own. Plus, something's not right about all this. Will you talk to Renna for me? I'm not sure, but I want to keep watch. I've had the feeling that someone's been following me since I arrived in Riften. I might be acting like a cracked acorn, but better safe than sorry, right? I do like a cracked acorn. Whoops. I didn't mean to start a quest. I was just reading. Sorry. Some other day. Uh, where is she? Over here. Behind me. Sitting down. On the bench. No. Nope. Not oh. that behind me, the other behind me. There we go, Rena. <laughs> yes? Is there something I can help you with? Everly? She found Farrell's book? Oh, that's wonderful news. But why is Everly standing way over there? And why are you talking to me instead of her? What's this all about, stranger? Not completely honest. Just what are you implying? Is Evely attempting to change the terms of our deal? Farrell offered a fair price for what he asked her to do. Quiet! If certain ears heard those words, our lives wouldn't be worth a hawker's blister. Hawker's blister. I suppose it's time for Evely to meet Farrell. We have a house here in Riften, around the corner from the bank. Just knock two times or he won't respond. Okay. Where were you when the dragon broke? The Horror of Castle Zir, part three. So much to do, so time. time limit? Wait, there's a time limit? Crud. 
Wait, where's the door? No, you said you had a time limit. Yes, I, I sent a text to, uh... I asked them to try to take care of Munchkin really quick. Wait, where to? It's not showing on my map. I just follow you. Oh. Unlock. Good. Hurry, let's get inside. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Hey, we broke in as fast as we could. Oh, Farrell! I told him to forget about the past, but did he listen? No! You... you know about that? Maybe? Probably. Farrell never told me a lot about his time serving the Emperor, but I knew it was on his mind recently. That's why he hired Evely. He said he wanted to make things right. She... Oh, gods. That's the sign of the Dark Brotherhood. They assassinated my poor Pharaoh, and all because of something that should have stayed buried with the damn Longhouse Emperors. Then I guess you've reached a dead end. Pharaoh never told me much, just that he needed the book he sent Evely to find. That he had to correct a terrible mistake. He also mentioned that Leovic told him things, but he never got into specifics. I don't care about the book. I want nothing to do with it. If the Dark Brotherhood thinks I know anything, they'll come after me. And you as well. <coughs> you should forget about Farrell and Leovic and that book. Forget about them and go far, far away. You know, things. State secrets, I suppose. Hidden dreams, wild desires. Farrell helped raise the Emperor. They were close, or as close as the most powerful man in the world and his steward can be. Once, Farrell mentioned another secret. <gasps> the four ambitions? Ambitions? No, I don't recall any mention of that. Farrell didn't say much, just referred to something as the secret of the Longhouse Emperors. I got the feeling it had something to do with Daedra worship. And some sort of weapons. <laughs> That's all I know. Come on, let's talk outside. I'll meet you out back under the dock. Meeting outside under the dock. Wait, how far under? Where are you, little... Wait, where is she? What do you think? Did the Dark <coughs> really assassinate Farrell Lupus? Is this book he sent me to retrieve really that important? I'm not sure what we should do next. So if you have any ideas, I can't wait to hear them. That about sums it up. Plus the dreams I've been having. Ever since I found that book, I've been having the most strange and disturbing dreams. Nothing specific. I'm always someplace. A forest, a town. Then the ground starts to shake or fire erupts all around me. Once the place was flooded by a deluge of water. 
And there are always four animals watching from a nearby hill. You mean like the four ambitions? A huge boar, a fox, and a pair of identical rams. Weird, huh? You know, I'm attributing the dreams to the book, but it could be something I ate. <laughs> My diet has been all over the place these past few weeks. Oh, great. The scary Daedra lady is back. Flattery <laughs> and cuteness will get you nowhere, elf. Come, little mortal. Say thank you, little mortal. I have read the ensorcelled scroll, and I know where we need to go next on our quest to learn Leovic's secret. Unless, that is, you and the elf discovered something in the coded documents. The assassins who follow Mafala? Or are they the ones who serve the void? No matter. My information actually concerns the secret we seek to uncover. According to the ensorcelled scroll, there is another cache annex beneath the Imperial uh. City. Yes, hidden in the Imperial sewers. I will open a portal that will get you close to the annex, but you will need to deal with the wards. For all their reverence of the Daedra, these Longhouse Emperors certainly went out of their way to keep us out. Oh, not me, little mortal. I have no intention of spotting <laughs> through the muck and the sludge, when you are more than capable of handling that. I shall catch up to you after you have dealt with the wards. Go on now. I think I want Lyrith as a follower. She's kind of handy with these portals. I know. Is she portaling us again? Nice. Another portal? Don't Daedra have flying horses or something? All right. Quick, quick, quick. So these are the Imperial sewers. Fancy. All right, let's charge through every. Charge, murderize. He ran past a murderizer. Well, we're in a hurry, right? Okay, yeah. Just not used to that with you. Hopefully I didn't miss anything cool in there. Go slow. Let's not alert the cultists They're until sewers, absolutely necessary. Cool. I don't know, books, stories. Look, a cache! And it's still warded. These treasures belong to the Order of the Waking Flame. No, oh, they don't belong to anything. Shush. Shush, Miss Arrow Lady. Ooh, glorious day. I allied myself with the Reach Mandor, known as the Black Drake. Brokered a deal that will see the powerful barbarian crowned emperor and placed upon the ruby throne. Endless preparations, rituals, everything that must be done to make ready for the four ambitions. We will perform the tasks and wait for the day when the final part of the arrangement can be carried out. And he will reclaim his due all praise, the Prince the of Destruction. The Emperors really did it. They made a deal with Mayroon's Dagon. Search for clues. Another sacrifice for Lord Dagon. Just die quickly, dude. All right, you open that one. Um, Oops. I had to do the ward twice, so. Oh. Did you have to ward this one or not? No, just one. Well, yeah. 
Journal. Printing journal. I'll read it later. Here's the steward and the counselors. All those important people. That's a clue. All right. Emperor Leavik wrote that, but it's not in code. If those counselors know the secret, their lives are in danger. Sorry, I preemptively hit my my power, dude. Oh, wait, she's still there? Yeah, she poofed and then came back. Ooh, another clue. Okay, describes the ritual performed, dedicated to shrine deep inside the annex, successful. Perform the ritual, communicate directly with the dude. Print screen. Doombringer, flame. Contact Mayrun's Dagon. Let's find that shrine. Mayrun's Dagon. Step through the portal and prove your worth. Oh, screenshot time. Fire and flood. That cracked acorn is stepping into oblivion? You honor me, Lord Dagon. Look, behind the statue, a portal. Come on. What? Whoops. Uh Oh, he's really cool looking. Sorry. Oh. All right. And is the portal going to be the can't go? Oh, we can go. Ooh. I got it. Now what? Why do you think he named this place the Deadlands? Looks more like the really hot lands to me. Throw some ice in the Try hotlands here. These war kisses. My errands will make short work of the cultists. I'm not too sure about Mayrun's Dagon. I might have to mute a bit because I got a munchkin coming in. Ambitions must be some sort of weapons. We can't let them fall into the hands of this cult. What do you think of these acorns? Right. 
Then face me directly, unbelievers! I hate wasting expensive arrows on the likes of you! You're not muted. That was so cool! You bested my follower, mortals. So I shall permit you to leave my realm with your lives. Step through the portal and be gone. This is a really cool realm, and that was a really cool dragon. I will be going through the portal now, though. Um, in a moment. First things first. Screenshots! As soon as I get that darn danger out of the way. Screenshot! Oh, let's get her way out of the way. There we go. Ooh, nice one. Sweet! I will not jump in the lava so you can get a screenshot. What? You're not gonna jump in the lava for me? What kind of friend are you? Come on, lightning, once more. Shine forth, lightning of goodness. Oh, I missed it. Alright, let's get through the uh, portal here. And hopefully we'll be near the end. My little guy's behind me, ready to go to sleep. Oblivion? And you, little mortal, emerging with hardly a scratch? Come, tell me everything. You never cease to intrigue me, little mortal. Is that the distinct scent of Mayrun's Dagon and the Deadlands that lingers about you like a cloud of flesh flies? Never mind about that. Tell me what you learned and how you ended up in Dagon's realm. Yes. The Order of the Waking Flame has been particularly persistent in trying to run down this secret for themselves. Speaking of which, did you learn any more about Leovic's secret? Interesting. I recall something about that. The mortal who went on to become the first of the Longhouse Emperors attempted to make deals with a number of the Daedric Princes, my own lord included. Any indication about the terms of this bargain? Well, little mortal, your course is clear. We have barely plumbed the depths of this mystery. You must find the people on this list and discover the truth of the Four Ambitions. Meanwhile, I have other avenues to explore. Now that the scary Daedra lady is gone, let's talk. That was kind of exciting. I've never been to any part of Oblivion before. A lot of it felt familiar, though, like places I've seen in my dreams lately. Anyway, thanks to everything we learned, I know exactly what needs to happen next. We need to find the people on that list. Warn them about the Dark Brotherhood. See what they can tell us about the ambitions. And what I should do with this book. Hey, thanks by the way. I never got the rest of my pay, but I can spare this for now. I'll start the search in Leowin. That's where Chief Counselor Lovidicus was last I heard. Think he's helping to govern the city or something. 
Once I get the lay of the land, I'll send word to you. You know, in case you still want to help and all. I think so. This all started when Varel Lucas sent me to find this book. And that put me on the trail of Emperor Leovic's secret. Now we know that the secret concerns a deal made with Mayrun's Dagon and something called the Four Ambitions. Well, we know the Dark Brotherhood murdered Varel Lucas, who turned out to be the Emperor's steward. And we know that the Waking Flame are Dagonists seeking the Ambitions. In Leovic's notes, the Ambitions were described as some sort of weapon. Yeah, not sure how I feel about the scary Daedra lady, but her ominous warning makes my leaves shudder. If Mayrun's Dagon has his sights set on Tamriel, we're in for all sorts of disasters. Whatever the Longhouse Emperor's promised, it can't be good. Right. I'm not an expert on Imperial politics, but I recognize Leviticus's name. He was on the Elder Council before the Empire fell. I remember listening to a herald in Elden Root. They brought news that Leviticus was alive and serving in Leowin. Not a lot, really. I've never been up in that area. As far as I know, it's an Imperial city on the Topal Bay. So far, it's been able to keep the Three Banners Wall mostly away from its borders. Or so the heralds have reported. I don't know. I usually just make things up along the way. I suppose I'll offer my assistance and see what happens. Once I make some contacts, I'll send word. If you're still interested in solving this mystery, you can meet me then. And that, my friends, is the to be continued in Esso Talk. <laughs> Yay! Oh, got some really good screenshots. Lava Fire Lover MJ is pretty happy with those screenshots. <laughs> Munchkin, shh. It's time to sleep. Yeah, do you guys hear him try to do an evil laugh behind me? <laughs> so cute. Ah, and this is where I definitely need to end for the night, guys. It is way late. He is up because I was up late, and I was home late, and I gotta be good now. Let him sleep. The good news is this means he's gonna sleep in in the morning, right? Right? Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for coming and hanging out with us here at Massively Overpowered Television. If you guys want to read more about Elder Scrolls Online, keep keep an eye out for stuff on Blackwood, of course. <coughs> Check it all out at MassivelyOP.com. And, you know, in between reading all that great news, listening to podcasts, and checking out any past streams, you can check out the stream team calendar to know what is happening when. Because you don't want to miss out on all that, right? Right. Of course, I will be stream. Well, I don't know if I'll be streaming. I don't know if I can afford to get the expansion, but but I'm at some point I'm going to. So <laughs> keep an eye out for that, everybody. I hope you all have a phenomenal night. Thank you so much for supporting us here, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. So good night, be well, stay safe, and until next time, may the mo be with you.